So anyway, man, we got the. Uh, it's gonna be a, a, a run back of the first one we did before. This is gonna be my guy here, David Adams. It's gonna be podcast number thirty-five. Again, like I said, guys out there moving along, uh, go ahead and send your questions to topics to podcast at penguinstar.com. I've been saying that for the last few episodes, and I have zero emails, so I'm not going to front like I have emails, so I'm going to make some shit up. And I got Dave here, which is one of the best uh, improvising guys that I know, so this is going to be entertaining no matter what. So, again, guys out there, if you got questions you want to get asked by our real professionals in multiple different areas, from computers to cars to music to whatever you want to do, um, ask us because I'm – I was talking to Dave about a situation offline, which I'll bring it online. Um, and I was going to, I'm, you know, before I get started, like Dave, like I, I just, I was going to leave it alone, but I can't, man. But the thing I'll, I'll, I'll start my podcast off today with this, guys. Um, if you're not a professional at whatever area you think you're professional at, you're not a professional. And then we can move on from there. Go ahead. <laughs> so, if the ball yeah. is too big for your mouth, it's probably not your ball. What? Yeah, man. <laughs> So anyway, Dave, man, how's it going, man? How's uh, life been going recently, man, since the oh, last man, time we talked? Oh, man, things have been just busy. Um, life as a DevOps engineer has been really uh, just keeping me swamped. I've been really trying to dive into the automotive side of things. I really want to get my personal drift taxi. So I've been – it's been kind of a twofold thing. I've been, one, uh, managing my own personal finances, keeping my job – um, and my career path going straight and narrow because I'm in a position where I'm v- very responsible for a lot of things with very uh, with, with high-ranking companies. These are Fortune 100 companies that I'm being responsible for um, in a DevOps environment. Um, and then parlaying from that, I'm also trying to manage Drift Taxi. So I've got my drivers, and I've been so busy making sure my drivers have the sponsors, the partners, the product endorsements, the product uh, support that they need, that I haven't really been focusing on my car. So my car now is finally getting the engine attention it needs. It's got the cage, it's got full suspension, and this isn't like a 240SX or a BMW 3 Series. This is a Mercedes S600, so everything is custom. So what people, yeah, what, so what people would pay $800 for, $1,000 for, uh, triple it. <laughs> so I've been right. now I'm working on that. So now we're getting ready to go, and I'm finally seeing the full bill coming down the pipeline from the guy who's working on my car. And I'm like, that's gonna really suck. So um, hopefully by this time, I, hopefully <laughs> it doesn't take until winter of next year. But I'm prepared for it to take until winter of next year. Um, but hopefully by summer of next year, I'll have a car that can move under its own power. And then by hopefully the end of next season, I'll have a car that is ready for the 2021 drifting season. I'm not a professional drifter, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not the kind of person going out there trying to compete in Formula One or anything like that. I or Formula D. I'm just Formula One. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just, I'm the one with the drift the Mercedes. Yeah. Um, I am yeah. not trying to compete in Formula yeah. D. I just want to go out and have some fun. I want to hit a couple of tracks. I want to hit a couple of parking lot events. Just have a good time with a bunch of people in the car driving sideways. I'm not trying to do anything uh, at crazy levels. I'm just trying to have fun. So when I'm staring down the barrel of a $12,000 bill, it's like, ooh, that's that's difficult to swallow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the, th- the thing about it, Dave, man, you like since I've known you, like when, when we met, like, like yeah. to run it back, when we met, I think you were, poly- you were piloting mm-hmm. a uh, 240. I believe you had that red, red 240 yeah. or dark burgundy 240. And, uh, but then right after that you kind of went 240 RX7. Like, All right, he's getting weird. Then you got you got the RX7. You got the, you got the RX7. Then he went then yeah. then he went to the Z. Then he got rid of the Z and then he got a Cobalt. I'm like, okay, what's, what's up with that? And then, and then after that we just kind of like then you then you hit the Trans Am and I'm trying to go in the order, man. I hit the Trans Am. Then you got the the after that that lasted like a week. The alternator went out and then you had, had a bolt. You had the while, bullet. Yeah. Would you, you had the bullet, and then you, that's when you yeah. went to you were in Atlanta that's earlier, right? That's why I turn, like turn field well. opened up. That's also back in like 2009 when Pro Am was approachable. Like everyone could do Pro Am. Per- Anyone with a real right, right, drive right. car right. and a racing seat could do Pro Am. Um, and then it got quickly too expensive. Like 2012 was probably the last affordable year for Pro Am. <laughs> 
Yeah, man. It, it seems it seems like you know, yeah. like, and that's what we're going to kind of get into, man. But like, I just want like because like last time we we talked, people like got to know about you, man. But again, the thing is, like you say, you're not a pro, but you've been well, in the I game a, a long time. And that, and 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 the whole the whole uh, pro thing, like I said, I told guys before, I do have pro license under King of Asia, and I keep saying that. And I want to you know kind of change that because King of Asia, that thing lasted a little bit. There was some mm-hmm. drama there, and it went away. They um. But, you know, I can say, like, yeah, I got King Rage Pro, and they're like, okay, so uh, what does that do? Like, even though I drove, even though, you know, again, Daigo Saito, Nakamura, no, Na- Na- Naoki Nakamura, and all these other different guys that are top-level pros were in that event, it's just there was so much drama, and they act so much like high school guys that they just kind of, like, act like that never happened. And when you bring it up, it's like, okay, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. So, they're not doing King of Asia anymore because I guess there was some mm. stuff with K- uh, Suchia's son. And, you know, Suchia, Suchia, you know, Japanese have an issue with guys who kind of get out of the box. And he did out, got out of the box and he's making money off of his uh, his celebrity w- within the driving. And there's no doubt about it. The dude's he an is. all-time great driver, grip and drift. And um, so they, they he, he didn't like, that's why yeah. you notice he left D1. There was a lot of stuff behind the scene. He didn't like the way it was going to where it's at now with the the Galados and the supercars and the, wait, it's, wait, it's, wait, it's wait. not attainable. I, 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 and that's, I, yeah. When I trade in, so for people who don't know me, I like high end cars. Uh, you already know this about me. I like high end cars. That's why. I, I was going. I was. I, I was going to get like into that. Twenty cars. I have two. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have a Porsche yeah. Panamera S, fantastic car. When I trade that in, whenever I get tired of that, I was thinking about getting a Gallardo, but well, Gallardo. So we'll we'll move on from that. We won't mention Gallardos for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> but yeah, man. So they they got you got that you got the because you, you definitely went away from yeah. the uh, the peasant cars, and uh, so you got cars <laughs> that don't rust. They got you know cru- they got they got they got an actual yeah. working cruise control. And and uh, you know because a lot of those cars has cruise control. By the time you get it, the buttons don't work, and it, the yeah. the solenoids don't work, and actuators don't work, and things like that. So I mean, it's definitely man. Um, as you, I mean, everybody like you know say, oh man, those guys got that car, I got this car. I'm like, dude, you've owned all of the all of the low end cars, and it's like you start getting older, and like, dude, the, and even me, man, it's like, yeah, I can do it, but it's like, it's like I don't have to do that no more. And like now, my race cars stay here. I, I'm not really into like driving those. Yeah, you know daily, daily like I did star. before, and it's like, <laughs> I, yeah, I never, I thought, I thought I would never get because he's like, oh, I want to be in a cool car. And now I'm in the K truck, and a dude pulls up next to me in his car, and he's like, now he's he's where I am. I was at mm-hmm. 15, 16 years ago, and I was like, yeah, I remember that. I remember that time where I had to be in a, all, a, a all rice rocket yeah, and I need things to be like the that. Fastest, and, lightest, yeah. most stripped down, hardcore <laughs> car possible. My bullet had a seat. And that was it. I didn't even have a steering wheel. I had to like will it yeah. to turn around corners. It was, yeah. it was. A- <laughs> yeah. But where where I was going with that man is you 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 again you started with the normal basic bitch cars, <laughs> and then after that after that you went to the you again you went to the Mustang. I'm like all right man. You like I think Van yeah, Doug, Be- Doug yeah. was the only guy. They had a had a kit or Van Brink yeah had a kit for it. And I think the kit was like ridiculous price, and you didn't even get that. Then you got. Uh, after that, no, did after you get another that, Mustang? After what, the Mustang, what is I your... actually went back in time because I want, remember I wanted to go pro am. That was like my my passion. So right. I I actually bought an S14 of all the cars. <laughs> that Burgundy uh, yes, S14 right, right, right. is what I wound up buying. <laughs> yeah, I lost track, man. You've you've um you've had you have you haven't had them all at the same time, but you you pretty much you've had r- well over lot. fifty yeah, cars, I believe, cars. man. Yeah. And uh, I think you, your first was the. Uh, you remember yeah, a picture of like Trans Camaro. Or was that the same thing? Same exact. Camaro, Camaro. Yeah, yeah, man. So you've been all over the place, and like you know, th- then the cool thing to see, man, is the the car changes with the your honestly as you get older and as you make more money, and that's the the, the coolest thing is when we all get in the game, we're all trying to do like the. You know, the, the e-bake <laughs> intake, the exhaust, yeah. and stuff like that, and then like you're like, all right, that shit's crappy. Then you you know. Case in point, my car, my S13 was crappy for years. It took one deployment, and I actually painted it all one color. I had a, mm-hmm. you know, my engine was reliable. And then after I left Japan, so I was just, the car was just starting to get good. And everybody's like, man, you got a new car? I'm like, no, it's the same shitty car that I've had the last five years. I just yeah. had money. 
to 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 put into it. And and I I mean I rattled Canada, but again I couldn't I couldn't afford to get you know you know it's just the progression. And then like we were just talking offline about that customer yeah. that I, I was dealing with today, and I'll see these guys getting the game now. They they have no credit, which is good credit. Depending on who you talk to, and they get that loan for 15, 16 k, buy a twenty five year old car, and then <laughs> yeah, exact dude, it's bad, it's bad. That's that's the army guys with the Camaros and stuff, man. So they they get these cars, man, and then they then yeah. they they're flat broke, and then they can't then they can't afford to uh, fix it, and then you know they want nickel and dime, and then like I say, man, that the kid is like totally wrong, and then he's trying to he's trying to like nitpicking. He just he didn't even acknowledge the you know the, the things mm-hmm. that he did wrong on his part and whatever man I don't want to talk about that <laughs> shit man but anyway so anyway David like I say man for we we kind of like went started right into it I'm gonna change the style the, for the guy speaking to the cut the 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 what not the customers the viewers um, the viewers I'm gonna change the style like I mean I I did introductions I'll do like a small ones but I just kind of now just want to get into it because even if I introduce them you know it's like. Most of you guys know him. Some of you guys don't, but you'll get to know him throughout the. And, and Dave is not going. Dave is going to be one of those people. who's not going to be a one and done man because we got so much history. We we've uh, been one of those friendships, man, where we we were in contact, and then like you know, life happened. You did this. You changed jobs. You ride to work. Then you pop back. We talk a little bit, but it's like every time we pick up, like no shit, man. We cannot talk. Yeah. Any, not that it will happen. We could, we cannot talk for a year. I think we went about. It was maybe pretty a year, close. So just you it were was busy. Pretty close I was busy. To a year. Yeah. <laughs> And we didn't talk, and I I hit you up, and it's like, bam, right back in it, man. Like you know, like you well, know, we're adults. No warm up required. That you and that, have a life, you have children, yeah. you have a job, you have a business that you own. I don't have children, but I have a career path that I'm trying to follow. Ducks. And it, things happen, man. We're, yeah. You're you're a grown man. <laughs> I can't sit there and be like, oh, you don't you don't I am me if I don't I am you. Every time I see those posts on Facebook, and I say, oh, if you stop texting people, watch them stop texting. I'm like, yeah, because they're an adult. They probably have a job that they go through yeah. to Monday through <laughs> Friday, and on Saturday and Sunday, the last thing they want to do is be bugged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely man. I, I don't I don't get how you know people they just uh, you know the social media thing is a, is a great thing for again my I always say right out my business would not be where it where it is today and you know not even not like I'm in my final form I wouldn't be at this point if there oh, yeah. was not for social media so you know thanks to Mark out there yeah. thanks to Mark. <laughs> and, uh, maybe I'll get him on a podcast or whatever but you know what I mean like I use it's like the way you use it like for you. It's connection, and then like do you just you just <laughs> share entertainment. You don't you don't take it you don't take it serious. While other guys, I see your from your, some of your comments, and guys like get mad at you, man. Like dude, he, he don't know he's trolling <laughs> just, you right now, and like they just I thought they would be your friends enough to know that this is what Dave does, man. Because we, you and I go back over a decade. Yeah, two forty, two forty, yeah, two forty four. Was it? Yeah. Uh, what what was that website? I still was, have oh S chassis Club two forty. No, it was first, Club 241 first. Uh, S chassis or whatever. Yeah. And then we got those S-chassis. shirts with the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still yeah, have yeah. mine. Yeah, yeah. I still got mine. I, yeah, yeah. So over a decade. But yeah, that man. was 2004, 2003. It was a while. Like 2003. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was a long time ago, dude. Yeah, it was forms or forms or yeah. There is just the the Facebook man. It started with MySpace and then MySpace groups and it, but you know MySpace, you would it would start getting like long. It would just be a long, a long <laughs> like dude. I'm not scrolling all the way back up and then now they got the groups where you can actually you know people they get added, blocked, yeah. and they remove conversations. And now you can actually search them. So it's, so the, the the Facebook groups has become the new forms where everything is just faster because. People, I mean, it's millions of people online and stuff like that. So you know, it's it's you know things change, and like that's one of the, the biggest thing I want to talk to you about today, man. Is I got right here, we were talking about offline was this the um, uh, Formula Drift. I'm 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 getting interested in it because I've been not interested in it for years. I'm looking at coming over there and uh, driving, and um, we were talking, man, about like I got right here the new 2020 uh, safety rules, man. And if you don't mind, I'll read off a few of them for the guys out there watching. All right, so guys, I'm right, here to feel the rules. I'm reading off actually from. I'm not gonna, you know, this was posted by a guy named Jacob Levito, Leviton, and this is on Maximum Driftcast. Which hey, man, we're it's somewhat of a network. I was I was told at the time by those guys I wasn't important enough to be on their podcast. It's all good, mm-hmm. you know. What I mean, it's whatever. Um, but anyway, it says uh, vehicles vehicles not equipped with transaxles can't be converted to one. So which means you know the the whole uh, you know the whole yeah, it can't, it can't be, be converted to rear wheel drive, drive if it's not rear wheel drive. 
Yeah. And it, that I can understand it from a safety because they probably seen some hack jobs and they weren't done right and then the car <laughs> crashes and crumples <laughs> up. Um, <laughs> fact, uh, factory equipped transaxles can't be separate can't be separate trans and diff. Seems like the kind of the Corvette Corvette deal with the trans you know, the trans is like relo- is located in the well yeah. there's a the torque tube and then the transmission is actually in the back. Um, all cars must have S- SFI approved bell housings, S- SFI approved shift the blankets again valid. Uh, passenger footwell must be clear of obstructions, including nitrous bottles, cool, cool suit coolers, and batteries. In-car viewable cameras are prohibited. Sorry really? about social media. That seems like an odd. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Well, that means that uh, we want to control oh, the video. That sucks. Yeah. That's yeah. shitty. Yeah. Yeah. That's we want we want to control and monetize because, the video. I mean, I've got I've got yeah. the roll so now, cage ones, the roll cage mounts for my roll cage, and those are super secure. So it's not as it's clearly not a safety issue. It's purely they want to control the media. Yeah, they want right. They want to control the media, monetize it, and get money wow. on YouTube. Uh, every car must have a data output output plug so that FD can pull data from the ECU and use it for judging purposes or technical purposes. That one is we'll, we'll get it. We'll, we'll discuss them mm-hmm. at length. I just want to read them off to people. Master cutoff switch must be on a driver's side cowl, uh, blah, 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 blah. And I think, and must shut off everything but the, su- but the fire suppression system. Uh, wing end plate size restrictions extended to end plates and standoffs. Wow. So nobody gets their face cut off. All, seat mu- all seats must be mounted to the manufacturer's specifications. Again, safety is valid. Only S chassis, only S chassis can cut, can cut out, only S chassis can cut out the cat hump. On a footwell, otherwise factory floor pin must retain intact. That's that little. If you if you take your um, on S chassis, if you take the um, the carpet out, there's like uh, a little hump for the cat that kind of protrudes up, and that does block. Like if you want to move your feet back, you can hit your heel can hit it or whatever. So they can they can cut that out wait, and smooth wait, wait. it out. So, so wait, you don't wait, have wait. that. There. I, gotta, so I gotta stop you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you, man. But yeah. So they're saying you can't. No, because on my on my race car, it's a, like again, once again, it's a Mercedes S six hundred, so everything has to be custom. My racing seats are bolted to the roll cage, so I have protrusions coming off the roll cage where things are mounted. That's not legal. No, it's not. Yeah. So I mean, but you you would be the only guy in the whole field <laughs> with a Mercedes. So I think they would there would be like there would be like a petition or like they would scrutinize it and then like kind of as they um. As they go, they would add it to the books, but then you know, what I mean, it is rear wheel drive, so I mean, it's in the game. But then they, they would probably be like, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure five more years from now, it'd be like nobody. But you, if you don't have an S chassis and yeah, LS one, you can't enter. Like type, no more, <laughs> like, no more rear wheel drive Volkswagen <laughs> Golfs. Yeah, man. So again, that's some the, some of the rules right there. I read over, man. It, what we were talking about more, morally, I actually after reading these rules because I just seen it, I didn't read it. All this stuff is actually pretty valid. Only thing uh, we'll, I want to definitely want to discuss about you is the um, the uh, the the one I want to skip down to is what is it the uh, the ECU output. So here's my thing: like, what are they gonna do? Like, they're gonna. I mean, your thoughts on this? Are they gonna have the guys after a run? They can't figure out because the judges can't. You know, they all looking at the same shit. They want to get a. a, a they want to blame somebody else, so they're gonna blame the ECU. So what they're gonna do? I I mean. They're gonna pull that off the ECU and see if you if you lift it off or you accelerating. Like, I, what's your I'm thoughts trying on to that? figure out how they're even gonna manage that because okay, my um, Mercedes runs a Max ECU Pro. There aren't a lot of people. I mean, there are some super high end cars that have it, but there aren't a lot of people running Max ECU yeah. because of the price restriction. They're very expensive to run, but right. it's the only thing that I can pick that will run a V12 without hiccuping. Um, so. What I'm, are they expecting to like telemetric data? Well, all or, all those they, cars. I mean, I don't. I don't understand what they're expecting. Well, the telemetric, all those cars, all those cars, everybody there has an aftermarket yeah. issue, so it's going to be linked. It's going to be Mo, Motec. So they, I mean, they, they, from a tuner aspect, they do. It's easy. It's four wires. It's, there's a power ground signal and like the other <laughs> whatever the fuck wire. So this, they got, they, they, they got to have the uh, CAN cable. So the CAN cables are universal, but that'll require the, the tuner to make sure they program the output. So you'll send five volts out for that. And all they got to do is, I mean, it's, it's actually. It's easy in theory, but there it's like for the guy that doesn't have it. I mean, what, then again, easy in theory, but you just it. said the key word theory, right? Yeah, but the thing is, like, how are they gonna how are they gonna get data 
without making an event. Right, like seven then they have to long. walk around with a laptop and say, <laughs> okay, what ECU do you have? A Max ECU? Oh, I have no idea what that is. And then they, or, or a Lynx ECU? Okay, right. we have Lynx ECU. You have an HP Tuners, right. we have an HP Tuners. You have a, a, a Mega Squirt. We don't have Mega Squirt ECU uh, software. Let's go, right. let me go online and download yeah. it. This is this is my pants of mine yeah. for people downloading so, stuff, by the so, way. <laughs> What that get? What that gets into? I'm I'm, I'm looking at this because I mean, my mind, you know, the, oh, yeah. being in business four years now. I mean, I was all busy before, but what this means is there's underlying things. Two things we got right here. One is the uh, the the no in car camera, which obviously which means they want to monetize bullshit. YouTube. They want to put, and then the two is this ECU thing. It, what's going to happen is they're gonna they're, they're gonna run this test run. They're gonna have Link, Haltech, blah 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 blah. What you see on there, if you see on their uh, web page. Their link banner, which means link is the mm-hmm. link ECUs, it's like their number one. So what's gonna happen is in the middle of the season, hey, everybody has to run oh, link no. no matter what you're running. You oh got, you, no. So you, you see it right you see it right there. I'm man. following Again, you. I'm no, not, I'm I'm not, you know, I think you're one of if, if, if somebody out there is, is this Formula Drift guy and they wanna correct me, I mean, number one, cool yeah. for watching my channel, but number two, I that's what that's what's happening, that. man. Like you guys are <laughs> they're cornering the market, man. The corner on the market, so like that. That's that's what's going to happen. I, I I mean that's that's my think on it. it. My my thought process on it is just they're going to make everybody run IBM. You know what I'm saying? So it's like so now we're going yes, back to the days back, of Packer oh Bell. God. So you oh. know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like, but it's like uh, so so yeah. You got you got 28 pin ram. Like yes. now I'm going to have 27. Like, like yeah. It's, it's, all it's, dim just, memory. Dude, it's not it, so dim. It's it's just dim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, man. So from I mean, with these rules, you know, there and then like the money, the money, because it is a money business. Like, what is your thoughts on what? What are they trying to achieve? What are they trying? Uh, in your well, thoughts, I, I got my thoughts, but I right. Want to hear yours. I mean, a lot of this sounds like right. what they're trying to do is control the revenue stream. It sounds like they're trying. They, they want to uh, with if if they do wind up going down the track you were saying with the links thing. Not saying they will, but that's just our theory currently. If they do go, wind up going down that, they want to be able to say, "Hey, Link CCUs, we are the reason why you're getting so much business right now. Kick back, give us money." With yeah, one second, let me turn on. You, you, you can still hear me. I don't care, and the, the, the audience can hear me. I don't okay, care. Go ahead. <laughs> so the. With the and I can talk to myself. I'm, I'm, I I do that. That's all fine. Time I'm back. Anyway. So <laughs> with yeah, <no. laughs> the camera thing, that's just absurd. What the second you said that, what I thought about doing was joining Formula Drift just so I could have those glasses that have the in detect yeah. camera right in the center, <laughs> and I would just I'm like I need these to see. I, I would get prescription lenses and everything, so I'm like I need these to see. And then I would have my glasses on, and I'd put my helmet on, and I'd have all kinds of video. They'd be like, "Where's all this video coming from?" Number two. So, in other words, you look you look, you look like uh, look like Corey Corey yeah. Hosford's uh, glasses. And like, what is it? How are you getting away with that? I, I just I don't see other than saying, okay, you can't have a helmet mounted camera, you can't have a roll cage or a sticky pot a sticky pod camera. I don't see how they're going to control that because. Min- miniature camera technology is so advanced right now. You can have millimeter, no, sorry, excuse me, micrometer CCDs that pick up 1080p. You have milli- have millimeter yeah, I know. CCDs that pick up 4K. A millimeter. You can't hold up a millimeter between two fingers. Between, so you have millimeter CCDs that pick up full 4K, no pixelation, no no shutter delay or anything like that. They pick up full uh, 4K 30 out of a millimeter CCD aperture. How are they going to control that? People are going to find ways to get around this camera thing. But what they want to do, like you said, um, mm-hmm. and getting to your point, is that they just want to control the revenue stream. They want to control, hey, we're we're the only ones putting out video. We are the only ones monetizing the video. We're the ones making money. You're drifting for Formula D. D, you should feel lucky that you have a Formula D license and that you can drift with us, which it should be the other way around. It should be Formula D should feel right. lucky that people are pouring their money into driving with Formula D. It, it shouldn't be this whole hey you're you're, you're we're, we control you it should be you control us and you are the reason why we exist that's how it should be yeah 
Definitely. That is 100%, man. And like I said, I know if I get, again, my, my hope is to, you know, maybe somebody hears this, shares it around. That's all, you know, controversy sells. I'm not, and no, I'm not no way, shape, form, or fashion a, uh, a historian of Formula Drift. Again, I, I was, I went to the first Formula Drift event in, in America, which was, uh, Wall, New Jersey. So I went to the first one, and then after that, I did my military thing, whatever. But and, it, and it's like one of those things where I'm not there, I'm not driving in it. So it's like life is again. I tell it's all the way, always. Life is complicated enough with what you have to well, focus we're old, on. Man, in front you of you. remember that. And like so, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's like we're not gonna we're not gonna go on a form and argue like Gran Turismo is better than Wolf Forza. Is better than all. Like I'm not. I don't fucking. <laughs> Yeah, like it, it, yeah, it's like I, I I used to do that. I'm like, wait, wait, I'm arguing about a game that another oh, man makes and makes millions off of, and I get <laughs> nothing from it. Yeah, so it's like I I I have obviously when you walk in my shop, you see the two TVs with the GT side by side. Uh, obviously, I like GT, and I got reasons why I don't like other titles or whatever. But it doesn't matter. That's what I like. Why do I care to push my stuff on anybody else? So anyway, out those, those guys out there, feel free to uh, feel free to yeah. correct me in the comments and things like that. Again, more 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 participation is great. But anyway, man, I, I see it the the way I see it when I see these rules. They're pushing more and more to legitimize. Um, as far as I know, like I, th- I know the FIA thing that just happened last week, the FIA drift comp. I don't, I'm not sure. It's, I'm not sure if Formula Drift is FIA sanctioned. Do you know? Uh, are, are they or? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Google will know. <laughs> is Formula? Yeah, you so can go ahead and keep talking. I'm just gonna look this up. Yeah, yeah look, look, <laughs> look it up for me, young Jamie. So like <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I think because I think FIA has their own. Things and I think if they got in bed with him, it would change shit too much. That's why the FIA Drift Cup yeah. is his own thing. It's not FIA with D1 GP because I, I don't know. I just know FIA gets involved, they they do their own thing and they change. They got their own rules, so I think some people will want to stay away. It's kind of like in uh, Australia, they have the other thing called um, uh, what the fuck's it called? Uh, it's like some word that Australia has that's like FIA cans right. or cams or something like that. And it it, it it really messes up their motorsports and regulates it heavily and takes it away from the grassroots guys, right. like far away. So you gotta have like you gotta have air jacks that gotta be installed mm-hmm. by this company. So they're like they're they're making the um they're it's like the weed thing where like weed is legal now in the states mm-hmm. pl- in, in certain places, but only two yeah, guys can grow it. That's true. So, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So they they're making it is. I understand again. I understand business. I understand again. I'm here in my business to make money. I'm going to set the rules to where I, where where I benefit because yeah. that's what I do. That's and a small business person do. No. But at the same time, no. Oh no. So that mean that means that yeah, it, because F F D has their own things. But at the same time, they're trying to get on that NASCAR level, that WRC level. So they have to push it up. They got to make the cars. When somebody comes out that wants to like some billionaire in Saudi wants to invest money into it. They're like, all right, show me the cars. And you got a bunch of S2000, S or not S2000, but S13s with S- LS swaps. It's like, okay, get that shit out of here. They, and then, that, you know, D1 is going towards the, uh, the the supercars, which that's bringing in a different kind of investor because D1 is dying. So D1 is like, dude, we got to <laughs> fucking do something because Formula, Formula Drift, uh, EDC is kicking our ass because they're doing streaming. D1 just started doing streaming mm. two years ago just started streaming so you know they were on that sun pros dvd shit so they like dude they the event's been over for two months and you guys are just putting out the round so like everybody knows the results and that 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 dvd yeah, stuff that's, is that's, dead now man and then they, they, that they kind lose of stuff, money. Yeah, it's not it's not a movie guys this is something that's like actual live competition yeah. we need up to the minute for uh up to the minute predictions and forecasts and results we it, it can't wait two months <laughs> yeah it's just it's the technology, man. The technology is changing everything. Technology is is. Uh, I mean, again, you're you're in the industry. You see it before I do with the the stuff you work with. But the technology is making one thing is giving everybody a voice, which good and bad. Uh, you know, good and bad. Yeah. Another thing about tech. Yeah, yeah. Another thing about the technology is it's just it's bringing it's it is make, like in the car world is making things more um, accessible. But at the same time, it's like as soon as it comes accessible. Then it's like they, the industry has to move to the next to make the the I guess the next big dollar because if they're all in the same group where all the guys that are making uh you know you know all everybody can weld now because the welders are affordable mm-hmm. like TIG welders are affordable whereas back in the day uh, that Miller which is Everlast 
uh, which for guys out there that don't know, uh, that that welder ten years ago was five grand. That same welder now is yeah. this much. It's twelve hundred dollars, and uh, so now they got to make something next to to bridge that gap and right. make it five thousand dollars. So they got to have a, a three phase, four phase at the same time. You can weld diff- you can weld four different sign signals mm-hmm. and shit at the same time now. You know what I mean? So it it changes the technology and everything, and the car thing is changing, but. I rambled a bunch. What I'm saying is Formula Drift and all these other guys are trying to make themselves more appealing to bigger buyers, bigger investors, and make more money. And that's all it comes down to. So they're not, they don't care about the grassroots guys. So the grassroots guys out there crying about it, it's just, dude, just, just do something else, man. Because if you can't afford it, don't. I will tell you straight up, do not go broke trying to chase, to chase that dream of being involved oh, yeah, in a no, judge that, sport, that's, man. You hit the nail on the head, and it's almost to the point where – if you're a grassroots guy, you probably shouldn't try to go Formula D. It's not. It's just not worth the pursuit. It's not worth the heartache and the headache and the the late nights and early mornings. It's it's that's not worth you sacrificing everything you have, whether you make thirty thousand dollars a year or two hundred and thirty thousand dollars a year. It's not worth your time to try to pursue these. You know, some of these builds have $80,000 just in the engine. And us normal people, I, I mean, I make good money. I, you know, I work for I, I work for a defense contract, I make good money. Um, and I can't imagine dropping 20 grand into an engine, let alone 80. So, I mean, and then just to turn around and blow it up, you know, cause some, some of those tracks yeah. are big and you're holding these sweepers in third gear at watt. And you're just sitting there banging off the rev limiter, yeah. and your engine's like, "Hey, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna oh, okay, poof, ride through the freaking hood." So it's and, and that's yeah. if you and, 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 and you, you said right, and if you and you, and you nailed it right there, man. Like wide open throttle, eighty k, it blows, and that's where you know, and it, and it kind of it it, it uh, and guys still don't pick up on that. Like, dude, it really like the more money you spend, yeah, it it, it will prolong that part, but it's still a mechanical part being generally pushed to to where it's not meant to be the thicker rod h beam yep. rods they'll last longer than the i beam but it's still mechanical it's still heat it's still friction it's going to break down and, and that's where a lot of guys don't get realize oh man i spent 10 grand on this turbo i'm like bro uh 10 grand and f1 gets you like yeah three and a half tires and see that's and see that's why i buy <laughs> chinese spoolie boys i would rather have 15 yeah. chinese turbos <laughs> than one whole set or Garrett because those turbos blow up yeah. just as much. At least yeah. at least when I'm talking it, it, when it I'm blow- sitting there talking to um like Brett of Max ECU and I'm sitting there talking about these nine hundred thousand horsepower bills that he does with these ridiculous like these four and five digit price turbos. And he's like they'll blow up on the dyno. He's like what he's like he's seen so many Chinese turbos just hold up. <laughs> it's like what Yeah. I mean, I've done them too, and then I've seen it's the thing. It's like the the probabilities and all that other crap that you know, chances of this and that, and then like maybe like you got a hundred on manufacturing, or maybe thirty, or maybe fifteen of those. One of the guys was checking his text message, like, oh yeah, okay, and then like <laughs> he didn't mark that one, and you, and then that's you the you, you get, save yeah. your money. You get that turbo, and that's the one that come in. And I've seen Garrett's DOA, but I mean, yeah, Garrett's yeah. is top of the line. There, there is not. It's not like they crap, but it's a mechanical item. You got humans in the, in, the, in the equation, and anytime you got humans in the equation, it's going to be errors. It's going to be errors with it. robots, but a little bit less if they're if they're adjusting and things like that, and the programming is good and up to date. And you pay for your win war and all that stuff like that. But the <laughs> <it's>, yeah, <laughs> but the uh, but yeah, man, it's like you gotta, you gotta, um, it's it's there, man, and I've seen it, and I tell guys too, man, like, look, there's a certain level where, I, it, it, for a shop, I gotta protect myself, so there's a certain certain quality, like yeah. I have to cut off as far as uh, when I'm going to install, because it, if it blows, it's gonna they're gonna come back, like I, oh, yeah. I'm like, nah, yeah. the, the terrible, I don't, I I will cover the installation and to make sure the tuning is good, but. When when shit blows apart, like the tune has nothing to do with the shirt turbo yeah, shattering in the shards. And, your mealing and, and, pain turbo, yeah, made that yeah. sound as it hit the yeah. various walls on yeah. the dyno. Yeah, and and let's be real, let's be real about this, man, because you see, like you see, like you know, and I'm calling, I mean, it's not call out, it's just what it is. Um, you got the you know CX, you got all these other you know precision precision for a long time. Everybody talks shit about precision, mm-hmm. 
when they first came out because people had a feeling that it was coming from Taiwan mm-hmm. before inter- before the internet, and then they they were correct. It was coming from there. Then they would get the turbos. They would uh, they would you know save money, get the cores. They would you know change the th- the mm-hmm. wheels to build it, change the nuts, balance it, and that's saving money. And then you got you could take a you could take the because the, the the core the mold the cast. Believe it or not, the Garrett uh, housing is the same as the one you're getting, man. The, the the exhaust housing doesn't deform. Yeah. That just works. So there's there's different sizes. The difference is is in the rotating assemblies, the bearings and the and the wheels. Everything else, the back plates, the end plates, the bolts, all that shit's the yep. same stuff, man. So you know that's where a lot of people like they they are. I'm like, dude, they're being naive to the fact. I'm like, you you just spent three thousand dollars on a turbo. I just spent nine hundred dollars on this whole set, and my turbo yeah, is the absolutely. same quality as yours. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, man, and, and and going back, I seen your post about uh, 2014 when you were like not you put uh, CX Racing, Cobaro, um, all these you know guys up there, man. And you were like, dude, I can have a competitive car with these parts, and I'm better than you, and you can have a shitty car with these parts, yeah. and you're not better than me. So it's like it's not the parts are are you know it, well, it just yeah, depends, you man. Spend so all like, your money I mean, on parts, how, and you how, can't yeah. go drive. <laughs> Seat time, I'd rather have a bone stuck car on the track going sideways than sitting there trying to build something up and it takes me five years to even get to my first drift event. I'd rather I'd rather drive something bone yeah. stock and slow than ridiculous horsepower and I can't get out on the track because I can't afford to break it. So what's I mean, what's your what's your how do you see in your in your, in your opinion, what's your what do you see in the next 10 years? Because we're talking about drifting now. We can definitely talk about different stuff. But uh, and I, what do you see in the next 10 years as far as the grassroots level builds, program level builds? And then what do you think was going to be in 10 years for like the pro level builds? Oh, man. Grassroots. Okay. So we have to separate it, right? I don't see the grassroots mm-hmm. builds changing that much. I see there being maybe a few more people doing the 600, 700, or 800 horsepower builds on the grassroots level, but it won't be a it won't be an appreciable amount more than we have now. Take a thousand grassroots drifters, you may have fifteen more people doing crazy stuff. That's one point five percent for those doing the math at home. Um, you you may have that many. You have you may have one point five percent more people doing these big stupid builds at the grassroots level. On the pro am level, now this these are the people that aren't aren't pro yet, but they're just trying. You know, for the people listening at home, the pro am are people that aren't pro yet, but they're trying to get there, so they tend to overcompensate. That's where I see the crazy builds coming in. Dudes that are, you know, you know, they're they they work in a shop. They are factory line workers. They are, you know, they work they they work sanitation. They're uh, uh, you know, cubicle monkeys or shop monkeys or whatever. And I see those people spending every dime they have to get 1,000, 1,100, 1,200 horsepower yeah. <laughs> on a car that if they break it, they're out for three or four seasons. Not three or four events, three or four seasons. Because they can't... One, one, I follow a lot of Pro-Am drivers and a lot of um, FD Pro 2 drivers that are struggling now because they're they're complaining now because they have to buy a second car to be competitive. They have to take their car that they just spent 30, 50, 70, 80, 100,000 dollars on and then build it again. So that they keep so that if their car right. breaks or if they cra- crash it, you may never blow up your car. You're going to crash. <laughs> you're you're yeah, absolutely definitely. going to crash. So they're, they're, they're saying they have to build a car that if they crash their car, they can get out of their car and go get in an identical car and go drift that. Then then they got to get a trailer hey, so, that can so hold, haul both of those cars and then a truck <laughs> that can pull the trailer that's hauling both of those cars. So hey, what is what is this? What is, what is this? What you're explaining? What is it? Who does it sound like they're emulating with yeah. it? That's uh. That's F1 yeah, and that's, F1 NASCAR, right? That's definitely the big pro motorsports with like corporate sponsorships, and these yeah. people are trying to do that. What, what, what I mean is like, what I mean is like for NASCAR, even if they don't have like, for, I, again, I don't know. I know generally they have, like F1, they'll have like only two yeah. cars because it's, it's a team, two or three. Um, and then I have, I have seen. I don't know if it's legal, but I have seen where if one of the 
the top driver crashes out, they'll take the, the driver in. I don't know if it's legal anymore, but I, I know it's something like this happened where they put the top driver into the yeah. – kick the low driver out to try to get a chance to win. I don't know if that's legal, but I have seen something like that happen. I don't know if it was F1. And then, like, you know, those guys have – they have like three and four yeah. cars and just then, sitting, and, and then like five already engine. ready. You know, you you, you uh, yeah. for, Formula already. One, not Formula D. Formula One is big on running these non waste gated turbos, so they have pop off valves. Where if you're over boosting, the right. thing pops open, you have to pit it, and then a, 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 an engineer has to go in there and, and close it all back off. Um, so you have those things, but if you blow the engine. They just have that you pull into the pits and they just put another, they take your engine out and put another engine in. And th that's what these Formula D guys and these pro, pro am drivers, these people that have regular jobs, they aren't corporate sponsored. They have regular jobs. So they're having to go out there and they're having to build two thousand, two, two 1000 horsepower LSs and have four transmissions and five drive shafts and 16 axles and then like you know two truckloads of tires i'm like bro you just spent what i spent on this house and this is a big ass house <laughs> you just spent what you just you just right. spent what i spent on this house on your car you're in debt forever so that you can drift right. and be good be yeah. competitive even if you're good it, is, it doesn't mean you're competitive yeah. i think you were the one that taught me the difference between a good driver and a pro driver is the pro driver is consistent <laughs> so right. yeah, right. And then, and that, that what it's, it's getting down to is also um, if I I tell everybody, man, I spent uh, between 2011, 2010, and 2011 when I, I, I finally get, got into mm -hmm. the competition drifting. I did D one divisionals. Between that point, uh, 2010 mm -hmm. to 2015, I think I spent. I, I I don't know the number, man, but I know I spent with, with the entries travel and getting to the events. I spent the least, which is not a, not a large number, probably like fifteen to twenty k, man. I just I, I said it last time was a lower number, but I added it up, probably fifteen twenty k, and that's probably an understatement. And you know, if I would have spent fifteen to twenty k on pursuing my grip license, oh, yeah. I would already be a JAF grip driver. I would already be certified to, to run at Sakuba for the time attack, which I am going to do. It, it's like, and, and those pay dividends back into the business because if you look at the, uh, my, I've been open four years. I haven't built a single drift car for anybody else. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, I built yep. cars and then I sold them, but I haven't, ha I haven't had a customer in four years, not even one request come into my shop and like, hey man, can you can you set me up a drift car? Not one, zero. And, and it, it, I'm about to roll into four years and, and two weeks, three weeks. And what that tells me, what it tells you is there's no business in it because drifters are drifters. They, they break a lot of stuff. They got to be able to fix it themselves because they can't afford it. And then number two, the money is in street yeah. and drip that's cars. That's where is. the money is. I spend. Those are the, oh yeah, like, those are the guys I mean, that come in. I'm probably one of the only exceptions because I don't have the mechanical savvy to build a, a, even a decent level drifting car. Like... So I send, I send that, when though. I when I want to get a car with suspension and all this stuff, I send it out, and then people install it for me, and then I I go drive it, uh, and then I can maintain it once it's all put together. But to get to that point, I require someone with skill. Um, but most people have more skill than I do when it comes to putting cars together. So they they work like you said, they yeah. work on it themselves. I I have I will honestly spend way more money on my cars that I take to work every day than the car I take to the track every other or every fourth weekend. Yeah. But, I mean, the, the, the cool part about that is you admit that. And it's not that, you know, it's not that uh, it's like, oh, I'm better than you. And that's the, the one I'm dealing with right now and what I see today it's like he 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 like submits like oh, I can't do it and then he like oh man I feel like shit I can do it so he he he's fighting his own demons and I'm like look man whether you can or can't do it I don't give a fuck <laughs> I just want the car here I want to complete the job and get the car back and like now every customer like that again I don't know why I'm putting so much time into this because I have so many satisfied customers out there when this guy comes today I got two 550 horsepower 500 horsepower GTRs that are downstairs that I tune. That are sitting there wow. right next to his car. I'm like, D I, I I made these, and these customers are more than happy, so happy that they left their cars here with me for a year, and I'm gonna do engine builds and I'm gonna ship them out. One of the customers is wow. an F35 Pilot, so uh, you know what I mean. And the other guy's an E7, E6, yeah. going to E7. 
So it's like, and then I got to so eat bring this car in a day. Bad. So I'm like, dude, I'm, uh, yeah, they got they got money. Actually, in the last three days, I've checked in two 33s from E5, E6s, five e and I got an E9 coming a day. So I'm like, look, dude, this is, and then you're E4, and your car is fucked up. It's because they are E whatever, and they got money, families, and they're older. And all these guys are older, and they're all, like, easy to work with, pleasant guys, emails are easy. Then you got these fucking guys, man. Yeah. And, like, that's where it's getting to in, in a game. Where, you know, and, and here's the thing, man. Stand on top, go with the formula, formula drift and all that stuff. The young guys are getting in the game, and they're expecting this to be, like, easy. I'm like, bro, the guys who are pro, they went through all that. They hit the SR20, S13s, and they blew them up. And, like, so you guys are just getting in the game. You, they, they think they got enough uh, YouTube viewers to have a thing. I've seen, like, the oh, I'm not even going to, you know, the other cat that bust on the scene. I don't know how he's oh, yeah. LZ guy. And 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 uh, you know, I'm not saying I don't know him. I, I, I can't talk. I can't talk about him. I think he, I, I think he him. had money. Yeah, big money coming in. And a lot of yeah, and a lot of haters as a result of being able to do that. You know, and people like oh, knocking him before he even started. So I don't. Again, I don't know him. Maybe maybe you know I can get him on here and talk cool. about it. But it, my thing is I don't want to. You know, yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't. You know, people were saying things and reading stuff and like, I don't. Is the guy really like that? I don't think so. But it's right, it's what it jealousy. is. That they're envious you know, of jealousy. the fact that somebody has money. Yeah, and and that he just came in the game and kind of like, kind of like when uh, uh, you look. If I don't know if you follow sports, when Conor McGregor fought uh, Mayweather, I'm pretty sure you that, heard yes. about it. And, and and it's like you know you got a zero 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 and zero zero wins zero losses zero ties boxer fighting the best in the world one of the best in, in all time history and making yeah. multi million dollars in his first, in his first boxing match and now he's zero and one and now and then you got this guy who's been waking up every day at three four in the morning training doing this and he and he he can't pay his bills and most some of those guys were like ah oh, fuck that guy some of those guys were like whatever man i'm gonna keep grinding because i'm gonna get my chance so you got those two you got those two types of people in the world where you'll see it like you know we'll you'll see i'll see what you're doing you yes, see what i'm doing absolutely. it motivates us and it's it's not a hating thing then you got people like oh fuck that guy and i'm i'm like that guy fuck that guy me people were saying it to me because I've been here for less than 20 years. I got a shop. I got all this stuff. Now, these other guys have been here for this long. They see it as like I'm stepping on their feet. I'm like, bro, no. I utilize yes. my time better than you. That's it. That, that's all. That's it. And I'm from Bal- yeah, from East Baltimore. <laughs> so, it ain't like I, I started with a fucking running a run hit start. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I mean, and, and for you, man, it's like, you know, how did you, like, I mean, kind of like, I mean, it's kind of like going way back, man. How did you... Like, what got you into cars and what's something that keeps you into it, man? Because it seemed like you wanted to quit at one point and then you, like, you took a well, break we, and then you came we back. We could all burn out on things we love, right? If we oversaturate ourselves with something. Yeah. Except well, for, yeah, except I mean, for Pornhub is a, is a, is a yeah. distinct <laughs> side entity, but then you just find different yeah. categories within. And chicks with dicks, that's yeah. my that's my new thing. <laughs> so, anyway... <laughs> Weird fetishes with lead. Yeah, I'll edit it. I'll, I'll edit it. Also, Maddie anyway, doesn't uh, hear that. <laughs> so, yeah. so we can all burn out on things we love. However, cars are just one of those weird things that what I do when I start to feel like I'm getting when I feel like just I don't care anymore. I just stop. I I take a break. Like I have my home theater, and that's what I've been kind of investing my time into because it's something else. Yeah. To take my attention. Eventually, that will say, I'll, I'll look at that and be like, ew. And I'll go back to cars. But, I mean, I've always been a car guy, man. I was one of those kids that my aunt and my grandmother, my mom and my uncles would bring me Hot Wheels cars. And that started it. My first car was a manual transmission car. And it was rear-wheel drive. And it had a V8. <laughs> I was like, that was my first car. What, 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 what age were you at When I time? bought my first car, so... The that's a long story. So the the short version is I bought my I was working my ass off to buy my first car when I was 16, and I just worked and worked and worked until I got my Camaro. I didn't even have a license, and I got my learner's permit, which would allow me to drive to school and back. And I would drive that thing to school and back, and I had that car all the way up until I shipped out to the military. And um, but yeah, that car mm-hmm. just kept me going, man. That that. I thought I was going to be this freaking domestic guy and doing drag racing and stuff. And then I moved, and then I lived in Japan for a year and a half, two years, and ruined it. I fell in love with drifting. 
fucking yeah. ruined me, man. <laughs> yeah. Because I, yeah, I, I think around the time, because you, when you were uh, Club 240, yeah, were you I'm already in the Marines, Marines or you just joined that? Because I, cause I seen the pit. The, no, actually, I don't, we again, man, this is crazy. Yeah. Two <laughs> random guys on the thing linked up. But you, you, had, you had the picture of the R33 yeah, all in pieces because you fan, crashed it. Yeah. Like, fuck. I'm like, dude, how do, like, dude, what the fuck? Because the bumper was, like, <laughs> dude, it just looked like, it just looked like you took all the panels off and it's, it's like, like popped it on top of the almost, car. Like, how the fuck's the bumper? It almost looks like I did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yo, bro, I wish, I, I'm going to find, I'm going to find that fucking picture. And uh, if you have I it, please send it to find, me. I, I want to put it in I this. Can, uh, I can find that thing. Yeah. Dude, that's Funny, yeah. yeah, it's so true though, man. It's <laughs> it's uh, it's one of those things where you, but you already see now that it's because it wasn't a GTR, yeah. it wasn't this coveted car, so yeah. you're able to buy it. Yeah, but 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 everybody on that form, like, man, you're a dickhead, and like, dude, you don't know, like, this yeah, grandma's driving was, these cars, not, man. Like, I mean, yeah. even now, I mean, I guess now because they're starting to hit that 25 year old mark that people are paying. Fifteen thousand dollars for a, an a, a, an R thirty three GTST that's bone stock, and I'm like, no, I would not spend fourteen thousand yeah. dollars <laughs> on a freaking stock R thirty three. Maybe if it had five hundred yeah. horsepower, I would spend fourteen thousand yeah. dollars on it. But I'm, I mean, but yeah, no, back. I mean, in two thousand four, before the import hype really kicked in, like in America, because people weren't really able to buy. There were no companies importing twenty five year old cars. Um, there was no hype behind it. You could go to, you could be a lance corporal or a corporal, go to a sergeant and be like, "Hey, you're getting ready to ship out. How much do you want for your car?" And they'd be like, "I don't know. Give me three grand." Okay, let me go to the bank. Not doing anything else yeah. with my money. <laughs> and that's how it was, dude. But yeah, what man. what really kept me into cars is just experiencing. I I consider myself. I don't consider myself like. A traditional car guy, like in the sense of I like tinkering and turning wrenches and stuff. I consider myself to be more of, and this is not to be boastful. I consider myself to be more of a driver. I like experiencing different yeah. cars. Um, one of my favorite things to do was to go out and test drive cars. When I drove that Audi RS7, that was so fun. Um, a, a car I'm considering now because my budget for my next car is about 85 grand. I'm looking at like maybe like 06 to 010 Lamborghini Gallardos. Will I will I be happy? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No oh, Tesla no. truck? Oh, stop it. Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I will I will drive <laughs> petrol powered cars until they're outlawed. Absolutely. No, so I think no what no every time I see this man I People argue. I'm like, dude, I, I see uh, demolition man when they yeah. were on the ground with the uh, who was that? Uh, what was that Dennis Leary and the, uh, uh, and the un- was it Dennis and demolition Leary? man that was uh, Sylvester Stallone and no, no, they when they when oh, they went underground, yeah, he hit that uh, was, uh, he hit the muscle Dennis car. Wade? It was Leary. No, it was oh. Leary. It was Leary. Dude. Yeah, it was Leary. <laughs> But yeah, I see that happening where you're gonna be underground, like you know, people are gonna die. Be, people are gonna die from the from the, uh, yes. the carbon monoxide and under underground driving, and I, I def, it's definitely gonna be there. But I don't, I don't think so because that you talking about cutting the oil and petroleum thing no, off. Dude, that's there, not gonna there happen. Are, man. There that are that billionaires that will happen. not allow that to happen. No, there will be a lot of Hillary's. <laughs> there will be a, a lot, lot of dead people walking around trying to freaking cancel cars, man. Yeah, so it's I mean it's, it's a cool alter- alternative, you know. It's, it's kind of like uh, petrol or or or, or, or what's the carnivores, meat eaters, and and Teslas yes. are ve- vegans. It's like it's like so you're a vegan, you're a vegan <laughs> Tesla driver. They're probably the most annoying person well, in the dude, fucking world I, to talk dude, to. I man. get that all the time because I got a lot of car friends now that are buying Teslas, and all I hear about is how they love their Teslas or they can't wait until their Tesla gets low. I'm like just. Stop talking to me, please. I just sent you on your Facebook. I sent you that picture of me in my <laughs> in my in my fucking camis, <laughs> black boots. Oh. I was such a boot. I was such a fucking boot. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, one second. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna load it up here and, and, and bring it up, man. So let me see if I can bring this uh. up. So yeah, man. It, it's uh, you go to keep talking while I do this, man. But yeah, man. It's 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 crazy how the it's. 
I don't know, man. It's changing, and it's again, man. It's, it's getting to the point where people are just trying to push uh, so hard their their own thing on people. I'm like, dude, yeah, just do what fun. you want to do. You know, buy buy what you want to buy, and then like enjoy it, man. And then like you know, I do want to drive it, my buddy. I mean, not not because my buddy Carlos. I mean, he 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 bought one, and uh, he you know he was cool, but he's like he had, he has a V8 SEMA as well, so it's like he appreciates it, but he's not like. It's not like a lot of guys they buy it and just like everything yeah. before they need to forget. And it's like if you don't got one, you're a fucking dirt bag. You yeah. Know, why, you, one why, why are you why are you <laughs> running your car on on old dinosaurs? Like no man, get out of here, man. Freaking. <laughs> then my my good guy Lex, my good guy Lexus uh, King uh, posted up a video the other day of the um, I'm still working on this picture right now, but he, he posted up a, he posted up a uh, a picture of uh, the line or well, video. And like oh, yeah. lying to charge, it was like I mean, people, I'm like, dude, holy shit! But at the same time, Tesla, Tesla guys, are like, dude, that's yeah, a lot but of people money were right waiting. There. People were waiting, I think, two and a half to three hours to supercharge their cars. It doesn't make any sense. And then, like, one of the there, yeah, there it is. You can't. You, you'll see, you'll see it in the final feed, but there it is, guys. It's somewhere there's over uh, here. there's David Adams right there. Yeah. I'm like I'm like moving it around and everything, but yeah, it's it's uh I'm oh, probably no. blow it up here in a second. Oh, but, uh, no. There it is. <laughs> so that's Dave. <laughs> that's Dave. I'm gonna move it over a little bit so your face is my face is covered up. But yeah, that's Dave right there, dude. Like I was like, bro, like the <laughs> so bumpers and shit was all on it. So all right, so what? So then you got like what's that a court next to it? So all right, what was the? Uh, did you get any paperwork for this or license or what did you? You that, fell asleep no, at the wheel was, or what um, happened? Man? That was it, trying to trying to have fun in the toge with uh, too much power and not enough skill. Coming out of the, coming out of the foothills of yeah. Okinawa, Japan, <laughs> which is Okinawa for people who don't know is an island, a fifty a fifty eight mile long island, and most of it is formed by just two continents coming together and pushing up. So it's all one big toge, and um, sixty four mm. or is it is it sixty four that runs through the middle of Okinawa? Um, that yeah. is. Hey, Dave, hey Dave, hey, one second, man. I'm gonna take, take a call really call. quickly. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. We, we let, still build. I'm not gonna cut in. it out, let's but yeah, sorry in. about that, guys. Let's listen in. Yeah. Hey, this is uh, Jackson Penguin. Yeah, Hello, Cole. Hey, Hello, Kyle. Kyle. How's it going, man? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. Now he can't hear me. It's super dangerous. He should be monitored. Yeah, what, what time you? What oh, time I you get off, get off whenever I want. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'll be already gone. Like I don't do anything after hours, man. So I definitely have to be here during those time. Maybe you can have a friend drop it off. But yeah, I, I can't extend my hours that long because I'm here at four in the morning and my business starts yeah. around forty-five to sixteen hundred. So, so I already have other engagements. It's just too late. No, I mean, I'm there sometimes for the morning, but that's not business stuff. A business, again, for customers, is just has to stay that way. 945 is when I start servicing, and 1600 is when I stop. Um, so we, did, we, we just got to get in here between 945 and Everything. that's just like 1500. That- uh, but if you have a friend, a friend drop it off, that would work. But again, I can't. Um, if I do it for one person, and I'm, I'm not going to do it for everybody, everybody because. So, because- uh, 1600 stuff cuts off and everything. But again, man, uh, what, what has to happen if you can get to the uh, hobby shop? Um, if you can throw it on a lift and just check it, you just gotta. If you can mm-hmm. pinpoint where it's coming from and just give me a picture, I can yeah. just see what part you have to order. Because if it is, it's just a hose clamp or something. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to bring so. it in. You're gonna have to extend your hours for me. If you can't extend your hours for me, we're gonna need to. Three like three three, 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 fifteen hundred. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll work, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be, I mean, I'll be there, uh, which, it, well, it depends, man. I mean, I'm not depend? in town, in town, so it is kind of, like you're saying, like, stop this Monday me. coming up, correct? I need you to stop interrupting me. Stop This Monday coming up? All right, let me turn and think real quick. I don't have my calendar for me, but the Monday, Monday I'll, is I will the ninth. be here. I'll be here. Stop talking. Stop talking yep. to me right now. Monday is the ninth. I need to give you money. I'm, tr- I'm trying right. to give you money. Sounds you good, man. Money. What? Yeah, actually, I don't. The thing don't is, you, if you come, it, don't you? Don't you? Time I'll have a car on a lift. Stop talking. So stop. Put it on lift. But yeah, if you drop it off fifteen hundred, you'll be able to pick don't it up you. the uh, the next day. 
round about this. If you can do it the same time, and I'll do that again. I'll, I'll try to. I don't have my calendar, so I just I'll get back at you when I, I confirm the times and everything. And then uh, just to make sure I don't want to double book your don't head. You hang up that I just phone don't waste your time. That's all. If you man. hang up this phone, don't you fucking right, hang brother? up. Don't you motherfucking Thanks, hang up. You motherfucking hang up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, that was a that was on air on air. Uh, as you can see, man, you know, those guys, are, I'm going to actually leave that in there, man. So people, I should have put it on, I didn't want to put it on speaker for like privacy reasons. <laughs> yeah, I want, I really I want to keep that in there because I want to hear what you were saying. You the playback of this and you go to edit it and you're like, I got to cut all of that out. <laughs> because it's not, you're not going to be able to put that on. What is that? <laughs> no, it sounds the, bad. No, you, you were coming through just fine. Yeah. I was just, I was talking so much shit during that. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it in there, man. I'm going to put it in there because that's just like, but no, you know, for guys that were listening, man, it's just like, you know, the business guys out there that was alive. I'm going to leave it in there for, for a case in point. But for the business guys, man, like he was wanting to bring it like after, you know, 7 o'clock. I'm like, no, uh, my hours are 940 and then at 945 to 1600 because when I service people, I can be here 3 in the morning, but you're not going to bring do business with me 3 in the morning because that's my time. You know what I'm saying? So drop it's your the, drop your the, the biggest box. thing. Yeah. GTFO. Yeah. Well, no, I, I don't. I, I can't do that, man, because that I make. I, I require check. I require. Uh, I do inspections, man, because I've already. I've already had a few. Hey, man. Uh, I noticed when I washed my car, there was a big like uh thunder Thundercats logos sketched on my bumper. I'm like, I don't <laughs> fucking do that. Whoa. You know, it's, it's like so. Yeah, man. So now I do no matter what. You know, because I was I was a two T one, which is in a for Marine guys is um uh, uh, eighty eight Mike. Same for the Army uh, Motor T. And um, we that's we check in and out, man. The cops, you yeah. cops, man. I know you're you were you were a cop, fucking the worst <laughs> yeah. drivers out there, man. <laughs> yeah, case hey, man, in point, yeah. by that thirty three, man. Car will be freaking yeah. dead cold because you're yeah. sitting there with the car off, yeah. and then somebody goes speed by. You turn yeah. the car on, drive, full throttle, <laughs> cold engine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fucking oil is like, oil is like, what the, what the, what the fuck, oil. man, what the fuck, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like the, the fucking cams just, the cams are spinning yeah, and the oil is like this, like you're, fuck you're it, man, I'm gonna stand the pan. By hopes and dreams at that point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, man, it, it was just you know, man, like, one thing I get, man, it's like you know, I'm, I'm very appreciative of my customers, but I don't, I'm prime military, but I don't, um. They, they just like, you know, this guy, man, I got this. And I'm like, bro, if I ran my company based off the military mission, I would be out of business again within a year because the mission in the military doesn't give a fuck about what so you got to do in your private life. So you got to make you got to make it happen, man. So there's times when I do make small adjustments, but I really I really do that because every time I do that, it puts me in a compromising situation where I'm, I'm stretching myself. And, you know, to, I'm trying to be in this for the long haul. You can't be. You see a lot. Of, I know you got people on your on your friends list that stress about business because number one, they try to yep. do the friend business shit. They try to do like the buddies. Like you can come over and borrow my tools, like just to have company. I'm like, I don't oh, fucking need people here. And like, and you it's know one of the things that I've learned, you, like from the my friends who do art stuff. So like the photographers, the artists, the the you know the performers. If you are truly someone's friend, you will pay full price. Like like. What, yeah. Right. Unless, unless unless they offer exactly. unless they unless offer, they offer yeah. to give you a right. discount, you will you don't even at question paying full price because they, right. that's how they make their living. You are their friend. You should be trying to support their their passion, their dream, their goals. So yeah, I, I I'm, I'm right there with you, man. It's just so many people try to take advantage of friends, and um, yeah. you know, like it's like you said, if you do that for one person. Now you have to do it for everyone that's listening to this podcast that happens to be in Japan. <laughs> right. Yeah, because I'm going to leave that in there live because that's cool. I don't this know. I think, I think you're going to hear the like playback of you talking about you. I was talking. I was talking. No, I heard you. I heard. Actually, I was trying to. I was trying to not laugh because you like. He's like, don't hang up that phone. He's <laughs> like, because <laughs> I, like, right I had. I had the. I had the. Yeah. It's like, don't hang up that phone, motherfucker. With the. Uh, but now, nah, man. Again, man. I, I don't know, man. I, I. You know, a lot of people. A lot of people. You know, with this thing, man. It just. It's like I know they sit around in a circle and a kumbaya circle and like that guy, man. He's he acts so much like a tough guy. Like no, it's not. The, it's not an act, man. Because yeah. I can really beat your ass. Yeah. So it's yeah, not. It's guys, not really an act, you, you know. So and most and, and, and I could probably get. I, and at the same time, it's like you know, like I told guys, it's like yeah, I'm. You know, 
it's the hierarchy of life. Then there's yeah. some guy out there that can beat me. It's just the way it's the way it works, man. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I train. I'm a being a trained fighter is different than being a you know. You know, not even get, that's a different thing, man. You don't. Uh, no, that sounds, you know, you're, that sounds you know, like a little marine, Marines. I'm not going to so, so tell me about why you feel why you feel yeah. that <laughs> you can beat people's asses. Yeah. Asses, as yeah. you put it. Why you can beat people's asses. Yeah, asses. And that maybe one or two guys out there can beat your asses. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's my Dr. Phil. You're voice crazy, man. Yeah. Hey, did you, did you happen to see the, uh, the last... Um, well, I know you, like I said, you're busy with the new... Can you talk about the new job, or is that... Uh, I'm secret? still kind of... Well, it depends, right? I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on there, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've yeah. been doing... Yeah. Well, I mean, other way it's going to be an upgrade from your current... Um, or... It's an upgrade, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. Yeah, so I mean it's all so that's it. We're, we're, we're not gonna talk to more about it, man. It's, you're going. It's not like it's not like you're going to work at Wendy hey, Shift Manager. No, no. Like that. Pro, shout out to all my Wendy Shift Managers chick- with their bacon cheese <laughs> potatoes out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's a classic. That, that's a that's a win amp. That's a win amp. Uh, yeah, that's that's a that's a classic. Send me the IP so I can put it in win amp type shit right there from. Uh, Dude, that's, yeah, that's no one, no one watching this podcast will get bacon cheese. Why bacon cheese potato is funny? Yeah, that is purely between <laughs> us. Bacon cheese potato. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I remember listening to that man. But yeah, man, it is is this. Uh, you know, it's you know, any progress is good. And again, man, I'm happy for you. I remember again, I, I kind of go because I, you know, not to make it a dull moment, but I remember like that uh, after. I don't know. You were working at a job. You're pretty happy there, and then they just start. They let people. That was around a yep. cut when they they were cutting people. And then you got like you just I guess Make you were you guy there so they like all right fuck off yeah and then you kind of, I mean you really, I could tell you really like that job man and then they they cut you out and then what what job was that oh, by dude, the way I, you can I, mention I, it's not a, I mean there so there've been two big positions where I I got let go because of cuts one the first one was when I was consulting at BUA I fortunately I was a consultant so when they cut me it was like okay right. I guess I have to go work somewhere else. Um, the latest one was at Renaissance, and they let me go, and that sucked. That because I really did enjoy working there, but there, I mean, everything works out for a reason, right? So, right. I mean, it's just you know, and you were you were, you know, it again, man. It's it, I don't know if it was during the holidays or right after the holidays, but it got it came in a it was a shitty time because also at that same time the reason when you uh, that cut happened, I believe also. There was a whole government thing because the government. I don't know. Was that job government uh, at all, or was it? N- well, Renaissance was not. B way, B way kind of was. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but over overall, the United States, like you know, they were taking uh-huh. cuts. They were cutting everywhere. So like you know, gov- private sectors were affected. DOD sectors were affected. Everybody yeah. was affected. There was a furlough. The reason why I started my business is because that last furlough came in, and then we lost the contract, and I lost. 15k wow. in pay i'm like dude i'm not i'm not doing this i'm not i'm not you know yeah. I'm, not, I'm not going backwards I, I went from a staff with, with cola to less making less than the e1 with with uh then my pay now did that i i i accepted that for a couple of years until i got my footing and then i i got a contract i'm like i'm not going backwards man so i'll i'll i'll, I'll fail on my own and then if i if if the business doesn't work i'll go back right. and work you know what i mean it's like people like oh life is over i'm like business fail all the time but I just I I analyze what people mm-hmm. do to fail, and which is you know not being honest, being you know slow, not you know shit like that. And unfortunately, I haven't made any of those mistakes. And again, yeah. I'm I'm really strict with my customers to, to keep me out of that. Thing. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. So like you know, I mean, you you heard it, you heard, you heard it on the, on the thing right there. But they, but what I was hang up on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what you were, what you were saying though was the um. Uh, at that time, man, you were like, you, you were, you were really, um, I never seen you like that. You were like, and you never post online. You were like really down on your luck about the yeah. job situation and like, you know, like living off the that savings sucks. and stuff like that, which like, fortunately you, you did have. And, uh, you're not the only buddy that I know that went through that in the last five years. And, uh, and, and, and then, and then man, it's like, you know, I was like, I talked to him like, look, man, you know, I know this shit sucks. And, uh, you hit me up and we talked and then, you know, I just listened to you talk a little, well, not yeah. literally typing on the line. And it's just like, you know, I'm like, I know you something's going to land. And then sure enough, man, about two, I think two or three weeks after we talked, you had got picked up again, man. And then like, you know, it was like, man, you know, shit's feeling good. I'm yeah. about to have pay coming in. And, well, that's because you and, and, and I are, and, uh, you and I are it, very much the same in that 
we don't take no for an answer and we don't accept failure. It's failure, right. while failure is always something that will happen, and we, you and I are very much willing yeah. to accept that failure is, a ver- is, is almost an inevitability. Something will it's fail. It's life, it's However, life. However, failure yeah. only really happens when you, when, when something stops, stops working in the manner that you want it to work, and then you just accept it. That's failure. When you right. move, when you when something stops working in the way you're ex, you're expecting it to, and you run into a hardship, but you keep going beyond that, and you just keep pushing, and you say, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, no, I need, I need to get back into making money. I need to get back into living the style of life that I'm used to living." That you haven't failed, but it hurts. It well, when 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 that when that hard stuff happens, it hurts when your business fails right. or your you know the, the the client stopped coming in, or in my case, I, right. I, know, I now know what you're talking about. When your business partner takes all your money and then goes away with it and then disappears, that sucks. <laughs> but yeah. at the same time, you have to you like you said, you have to be willing to be honest. You need to be honest with yourself. That sucked. Am I going to sit here and cry about it? I might for a couple of days. But you know, and I did. Yeah. I, I mean, and any man that can't admit that they cries is not a real man. I cried for like two straight yeah. days about that because it that was a that was a lot of money gone, and I was sitting there like looking at yeah. homelessness and losing my car and losing everything I love all at once over a bad business deal. But then, like you know, as you were alluding to, I just said, you know what, I can't. You and I spoke for a couple of days back to back and you kept checking in on me, which I really appreciate by the way. And, um, yeah. you, know, you were always there for me on that and it really helped to motivate me. Yeah, and I think at, at that, at that time, I believe I, I, I I'm not, what, what, what been, time frame was this? Man? What, what year? Business, that was 2014. 2000. Yeah. 2014. So 2014. Yeah. So, I, I mean, honestly, I wasn't in, you know, I, I was 2014. I was, uh, 2014. 2014. I was working at the uh, the Air, the Air Force AMC terminal, and I was making one thousand nine one thousand ninety two dollars and fourteen cents. I remember that check because it was that I was making. So and the yen rate was seventy something mm. or sixty something. So basically, I would pay my rent, and I would have enough money left over to buy wow. like a few Snickers. Like that's it, man. And like you know, and, and that, that whole time I never, you know, I mean, I was going through it and everything, and I was like, man, you know, I I, I know, you know. I mean, I never been let go from a job making that much money before, so I couldn't <laughs> really relate. But I was like, man, you know, I'm I'm going through a yep. kind of a shitty situation now. So I was like, you know, rather than being like, oh man, well fuck, I'm going through some shit too. I was like, man, let me talk. You know, I mean, I, I you know everything. I still I was working, so I mean, that's and that's where a lot of people don't uh, out there. Of course, you know, if you had the skill sets, you want to you want to get paid for what you're worth. But at the same time, not working yeah, is like exactly. not going to do anything. You're not going to exactly. have any income unless you're you know you, you get into yeah. entrepreneur stuff. And uh, which it, which in this t- day and time, man, between employers or you know having PayPal, Veeam, and all these other things, dude, like there's multiple ways to make money. So I, I really don't. When people are like, oh man, I just can't do it. Like, dude, yeah. you're just fucking lazy, man. And, yeah. and that's what it comes down to. And they they hate to hear it. I'm like, dude, like that's you're it. just fucking lazy. That's it. I mean, right now, I mean, Drift Taxi is kind of. I do own the business. They, the the state of Indiana recognizes Drift Taxi as a business, and I pay the taxes on whatever sales we do. But at the same time, I do I do own Drift Taxi. I run Drift Taxi. I make that happen. But I work a day job because I need I need that money. DevOps engineering pays right. very well, and I need to yeah. be able to support. I have a I, my girlfriend is a teacher. She makes okay money, but not DevOps engineer money. We want a big house. We want three car garages. We want to live in a nice area. We want a basement. We want to be able to take our dogs anywhere. We want to be able to you know do. She wants to be able to spend her money on her dogs the way she wants to spend her money on her dogs which can be a $300 expense, a $10 expense, or a $3,000 expense on a teacher's salary. The only way to be able to do that is if someone else is taking care of everything. So right. in order to do that, you gotta bust your hump. You gotta work. You gotta, uh, want something that people don't understand, they think I just got lucky and that these DevOps engineering jobs keep offering themselves to me. No, I, they don't see that I'm going to work 
from 730 to 1700. So from 0, 0730 to 1700, they don't see that when I come home other than today. Most of the days I'm going on sites like Plural Site or Linux Academy and I'm learning. I'm constantly trying to right. stay ahead of the curve of education. I'm I'm going into AWS, I'm going into Azure, I'm going to all these cloud-based services and I'm learning their technologies so that when I'm sitting there representing myself on a resume to a, a potential company to hire me, when I say, oh, I know Kubernetes in Azure, I'm not lying. Because anyone can lie, but only people that are actually putting right. in the work can sit there and say, yeah, I know Azure and Kubernetes, oh yeah, by the way, when I set up this cluster and I add you to that, when I set you up in this resource group, they go, oh, he's actually dropping words that are used in that technology. Okay, he knows what he's talking right, about. Right, 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 right. So, it, like you said, a lot of people want the success. They want the money. They want the fame. They want the fortune. They want the, but they don't want to put the hours, you know, they don't want to do 20, they don't want to get four hours of sleep a night. <laughs> you know, you yeah. and I, you and I know yeah. exactly what it's like to get two hours of sleep. You do, you don't drink alcohol. I drink <laughs> alcohol, but you know they, they don't know what it's like to be sitting there at a desk, sipping your whiskey slowly, and just sitting there staring at freaking code, going, "What is my life?" <laughs> yeah, yes. it's like it's like the Matrix. You know, they don't know what it's like. in, in your case, they don't know what it's like to be to wake up at zero three hundred get to the shop by 0345, have kids, have a wife, have a house, have to care for all that, and still yeah. put 16 hours a day into your passion, into your goal of being a shop owner in Japan, where you already have, you're a black yeah. American in Japan. You're, you are yeah, yeah. the least <laughs> privileged person <laughs> in Japan right now. So they don't know, they don't, they, yeah. they just, they, they see you posting, oh, here's my skyline, here's my FD, because why post bullshit online? Why, Maddie asked me that all the time, she's like, you post, you only post pictures of your cars, or you only post your happy times. I'm like, because no one cares about my drama. Right. No one. Right, because everybody, everybody right. has their own, and like, they, they, a lot of people use this to actually, they use online to actually like, oh man, well, maybe there's a chance. Maybe you show how many people get motivated by things they see. And I'm shocked about the amount of, the amount of, um, eat. You know, I get messages from guys like, hey man, I follow you. And it, it's cool. You know, we're, 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 we're one, we're individuals in this world that's fast. And that the number of people in this world is not accurate because they're not accounting for the people right. who don't want to be accounted for. You know what I mean? So imagine all these fucking people in, in this world, man. And, and, and we motivate and out of all these people, you and I and we motivate each other and motivate other people out there, man, to do their thing. And that, that's worth that in it, itself it's is a win it. in itself, man. You know, all all to, those to, a lot of time yeah. we put into making our lives better. But then you you know, so I do yes, I do post pictures of my Porsche, hundred thousand dollar Porsches and ninety eight thousand yeah. dollar Mercedes. Yes, I do post pictures of that. I, I post pictures of the fun yeah. because if I sit there And I see I see I see some of the comments and I'm like they're like yeah. slide like Cool, but yeah, cool, oh yeah, but, oh yeah. I get, you know, and I yeah, get yeah. that all the time. I get the, <laughs> oh, that's a nice car, but it could have been a GTR. Or how come you got the S and not the Turbo S? Or how come you didn't buy a Lamborghini or whatever may have you? And yes, okay, have your fun, talk your crap. I don't care. Um, what what I'm and, and with that, it's just you know, it's nice when there are the if if there are five people throughout a year. Not, not, not in a week. If there are five people throughout a 365 day calendar year that I can that that can message me or even not message me and just go, I'm going to make my life better. It's worth it. But they, they, they. But then they will understand. Like I, what I was what I was getting to before, and what I was getting at with my with what I was saying is that if they if they get to the point where they realize, oh shit, that's there's a there are a lot of 16 hour, 20 hour days. There's a lot of lost sleep. There's a lot of, oh, people are telling me I shouldn't work 20 hours a day and I should focus on balancing life and work. But there are times when I need to put work ahead of my life. You know, if I, if I want this, if I'm not a millionaire and I didn't invent something and I, don't, and I didn't inherit all this money or I didn't win the lottery, if I want to work and go from $600 in my checking account to sixty thousand dollars in my checking account, I need to bust my ass. There's going to be a lot of twenty-hour days, and right. 
getting that into drilled into people's head, man, that is hard, bro. And if just one, yeah. I mean, if just five people throughout the year can understand that to get that kind of money in your checking account to where you can go to a dealership and say, oh, I'm making payments on this car. I owe $20,000. Let me pay that off and get this other car. To get to that point, you are literally busting your ass. Like you said, you know, like like you do, dude. You, you, I mean, you're, pro you, you're probably not where you want to be yet, but – you, I see the hours you put in. I I log into Facebook at zero seven hundred my time and see you online, and then I go to sleep at eleven hundred or I'm sorry at, at twenty three hundred <laughs> my time, and you're still online. I'm like this motherfucker yeah. works his ass off, dude. Yeah, and then you come home yeah. and you have a and, and that, that, that's. <laughs> Right, and that, and that's part of it, and like even like that, you know, that happened yesterday, man. It's like I had the day I had, and they, you, I mean, you have those days, man, where like all the emails is, you know, responses are just like bonehead guys, and then you go home, and then you know the wife is like struggling with the kids, and she's in a bad mood. I'm like, dude, I left that to, you know, you know, I, I school her, and I'm like, look, man, like you're, she don't understand how easy your life is. They Japanese stress over, they believe that they're not stressing, right. they're not worried. I'm like no, that doesn't mean like you you're you pretty much been a stay at home mom for the last two and a half three years, and you're stressing. I'm like dude, you've been living, you've been eating. Lights lights been on, exactly. lights haven't been off one time. The heat haven't this you know. Way, so like this, so I'm happen. trying to get her right. So she she's she's learning, and I understand it's like it's it's not breaking a cycle, but it's kind of breaking the culture, yep. which is very hard to do. Like, they're used to doing a certain thing. And then, like, you know, one thing is I tell, you know, for Japanese is, like, when the kids come out, they kind of, they, like, neglect the husband. And I'm like, that's <laughs> not going to happen. Like, we can't have, we, like, we, yeah. we can't have that, man. So, uh, you know, we, 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 she's good, man. She, like, you know, I got to tell everybody, man, if it wasn't for her, it wasn't her for her, for her family, uh, even with my work ethic, it's just, it sucks, man. But in this world, man, no matter how hard you work, you, you need, it's like, you need, it, it, you need people, man. You need you need people and it's like uh you know Raman out my guy Raman out there down in Saitama um uh, with him providing me with these trucks man to help my business go to the next level I've had some people try to come in I'm like nah I don't need your help because they have I can see right yep. through their their attacks and they're they're not as smart as they think they are and then there's some guys I talked to him like look man I just they some people just straight up said I want to see you do better than this shop and that there was their reason they just hate they did they dislike another shop and right. they want to see me do better, or, which I, I've already had. I've already. Just, ex I want to see yeah. you know a person might just want to see you succeed. Um, I I'm a right. so of course I, I work in the, on the software technology side, and I will I will send companies money like small companies that make like software because and I know they're not they're not Microsoft they're not Cisco they're not Novell they don't have millions and millions and billions of dollars coming in. Yeah, not yeah. definitely not Packer Bell, <laughs> man. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, um, a company that I really love is Mobatech. They make um, a, a terminal mm. for us Linux guys. They make a terminal emulator that I I love, and it's super. It's like Sigwin, which is Linux for Windows. It's it's like this super robust uh, terminal emulator that, that lets you run Linux commands in Windows, and. I know they're a small company. I know they're struggling. So every time I get a chance, I send them money. It's $5, $10, $80. Whatever I can spare at that time, I send them money. because And I, and I, I send it with a note. I want to see you guys succeed. Hopefully this $20 brings you closer to success. And and I and, right. and that's that support system. And we like you said, we all need that support system. My My girlfriend and her family support me. I've hit those I've hit those rock bottom yeah. lows and I've been in the super highs and even when I'm in the super highs they're there to keep my brain in check like hey you're doing really well right now but remember where you were <laughs> right right and and it's definitely like with that man it's definitely a, um and and it's one thing again when you deal with again I bring up the customers I bring up when you deal with people who are not um successful uh because well, well, now before I get into, it, I want to say this too. A lot of business owners, they when they become business owners, they try to like they treat everybody else that's not business owners yeah, like they're absolutely. less than, and that's not really the case. I mean, the thing about it, man, like you say, you said you said a while ago, man, you just you you like your job, man. Your job is not stressful. It makes money. It's not like you know your boss is just like telling you to get these TPS reports now. <laughs> I work from home, man. I can't <laughs> it's like you know, what I mean, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, so it's it's like everybody that ain't running the business not they're not less than. So I want to clear that up. Um, but there there's you definitely have that. It's not that you could you couldn't do it because you're already yeah. doing it with the drift taxi thing. So I know a lot of guys that are doing um they make good money on their day job and they got a side hustle. So that's the biggest thing a lot of people don't realize, dude. Like even in businesses, you don't you don't have one you don't have one hustle. Even though Best Buy is a oh. is an electronic store, they're not just selling laptops. They're selling computers. They're selling earphones. They're selling Squishy. CDs. They're selling yeah. Oh, yeah, they're selling different things, man. Because if they only sold CDs, who the fuck's gonna buy oh. CDs any, anymore? Other than like a small group of guys. So that's a that's a business all in one, selling more than one product. And the same thing for me. Yeah, I do performance, but I also can do shipping now. I can also do different things. So as the business grows, and you can legitimately offer that service that you're advertising without saying, "Hey, I gotta get back yeah. to you on this guy and all that bull." You know, people that they, they they act like they're higher than. I can if you want a car, Dave. You you find a car on Gunet, you link me, you send the money, I get the car, I yes, ship it out within two absolutely. weeks, done, like that quick. And I have those connections now that I can do that. Before I didn't do that because I was dealing with people who were slow. I was dealing with guys who were like wishy washy, and then I I don't want that to deal with a customer because obviously even if I I just get it to the port, customers still to this day they come back at me like when they have like a, a claim. I'm like, dude, okay, I got it to the port. My what you yeah, paid me for was absolutely. done. The car is in the states. That you, the car is there. So now, between the ports and the, the arrival, somebody scratched your car. You have to deal with them, and that's what I, I briefed them on this face to face, and then they just forget it in like a month. And I'm like, look, man, you're not clean. You're not following the claim with me. You're following the claim with these guys, and then they they'll they'll read it, and then they'll never reply back. Which yeah, means they'll be like, oh, oh yeah, he's right. I, I'm wrong. <laughs> that dude, that happens a bunch of times, man. Like I'll, I'll ship uh, roughly fifty something cars or over fifty cars since two thousand eighteen, um, and I got the system locked down. It's just that I brief these guys face to face, eyeball to eyeball, iris to iris, and they still don't uh, still you know pick up on everything. What they just to buy, dude? Yeah. I've, I've seen a couple of cars. I'm like, yes, yeah. I want like a Mark II. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 yeah, I, I got the, like I yeah. want something between a Pulsar and a Chaser. <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, Pulse the Pulsar is seriously yeah, a baby GTR, so awesome. and that, I don't like SR twenties, but that SR twenty is a different is SR twenty. ITBs, it's the road. They got the roller rocker, like not roller rocker, but they got their rockers are fixed. It's like the VVT where the rockers uh, are not floating; they're fixed to a pole, uh, so they don't pop off. I, and they got and it has, but yeah, see, and it has ever, ITBs. But see, for the last like three or four years, I've only ever driven these big cars. Like I've had S six hundreds. I've had yeah. the S5. I have an S550. I've had the Paranormal stuff. Well, I think you. I think you're gonna you're gonna need a chaser or something. You're gonna need something that's gonna give you that. What the hell? Yeah. Is yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. For you, man. For you. I mean, older like older century or crown like you know older like a luxury like the V8 you know crown. I mean, well, they're not. There's no crowns in the states, so it'll be it will be cool because nobody has it. It has a V. It has a V8 in it, and it has like the dude. Actually, no. For you, man. Yeah, the, the president. The, <laughs> the president. The president. The president or the century, man. Because they had in the 1991 had uh, power everything, like the, even the mm. side mirrors of power. Like it had cruise control. Like it was like because they, they use that for the uh, di mm. the dignitaries, the uh, the president, the actual presidents. And the uh, emperors and stuff. And those, it's 1991. It looks like something that's. It looks like a. Yeah, it almost has that yeah, American part. You know what they're talking about the president, the uh, to Toyota Century, and the uh, Nissan President. So they, that's something like that. <laughs> I can see you driving, and and it's not a Sylvia. It's not something that you know fanboys you see, are driving. And that's the, and it, and it's, that's the and problem. It, and it's, it's like it's, I know I want to. Yeah. Like I was talking about buying a Gallardo, and the, the one of the problems, like when I talked to other Gallardo owners, when I, I was looking at buying a um, a Ferrari, I was looking at buying was a six one two Scaglietti. Because you can get one of those for around eighty-five yeah. grand, and I was looking at getting one of right. those. And a problem. One of the things that people talk about when you when you drive one of those is that every time you go to a gas station, every time you go to a store, when you get out, there's a crowd or a line of people that are like, "What do you do for a living? How did you yeah. buy that car? What is that car yeah. like to live with?" <laughs> so yeah, what's, what's, your, your, what's your YouTube, YouTube channel? channel? <laughs> what, what business do you own? Like, no, I I'm just I, I just I don't have yeah. kids. And that's what I have to remind, like, right. when my, my bosses are like, my, when I, when, that's one of the things I hate about working for people is that I have bosses and my bosses will be like, I pay you too much. And I'm like, no, I don't have children. 
So all of my when, yeah. when I get a paycheck in, all of that is mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like you said, Maddie. Maddie, she, she does. does. She makes enough she, money she, to to, 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 to buy herself. her dog she stuff. She takes care of the dog. She, she buys. So, so here's here's she, Dave. She like cleans, she cooks. She's like the perfect girlfriend. So when my when I get my money, yeah. I pay all the bills for the house. I pay the mortgage, and then it's just whatever. <laughs> then it's just yeah, this is new. Like, do you buy? But hey, Mary. So, are are you ever gonna stop buying subwoofers? <laughs> <laughs> it's like so, like dude. It's like so. Now you're like the old guy who has like the old TV, and when the TV breaks, yes. you put another TV on top of that. It's, funny. it's like it's like dude. You just stack your shit's like it's like this. It's like this now. Now it's like it's starting to stack up. It's starting to stack dude, up into I a fucking pyramid now, man. I was literally before we got on this podcast. I was literally looking at buying two more 18 inch subwoofers for my theater. It's funny, but yeah, I mean yeah. it. Those opportunities are afforded because of my of the choices I've made in life, but, but right, no doubt, but no doubt. Nothing man. against people with kids. I know you have children, so nothing against people who have children. Yeah, but hey, shit, they, they don't stop. It, I mean, for me, it's a little bit different because I I do own a business. The stuff is paid for. So at this time right now, um, you know, it's not that my my kids is not because actually one thing to clear this up, Japan, they need kids. So as a result, man, they you get a you get a stipend or they, they pay x amount of dollars. Like they they're lacking kids. They have a lot oh. more older people than kids. So they they're worried about their future. So now, actually, I, I've had three kids. Oh, I've wow. paid zero dollars, zero, zero. And I, so it's like I've been. It's like almost like a military. So like they uh, as long as there's no complications, the baby comes out normal out the out the vag. It comes out the normally. boxes of a ship. <laughs> like yeah, it comes. It come, it, as long as it comes out normally, there's no C-sections. They'll they'll pay. They cover it. And it, they, if I didn't have that, it would be about thirty, roughly thirty five hundred bucks per kid, which is still, I oh, believe, yeah. cheaper than in America. The average, the average uh, parent over to have a kid years spends a quarter of a million dollars in America. Yeah, well, I mean, just oh, in yeah, the birth, dude. the pregnancy, oh, just the, 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 the delivery side. Is, uh, they charge you in America. They charge you for what's called skin time. Which is when you know you see all those pictures of the oh. of the mom holding their newborn baby, they're paying for that. Yeah, that's absurd. Yeah, yeah. They call it it's called it's called kangaroo uh, kangaroo thing. Some shit in like they they take they give it to the mom and then they they put it on there yeah. and like take it away or whatever. Then the the, the Japanese chicks are like looking at my pecs <laughs> and like, whatever because you gotta take your shirt off. And they like wipe you down. And I'm like <laughs> I didn't shave my chest, so she's com- she's coming into this world already getting a coarse hair like to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had too much to drink this conversation. What the fuck? <laughs> it's all good, man. Hey, hey speaking speaking of that, because like, man, we'll keep like seriously, man. If I don't stop this, we'll keep going. Like I looked yeah, at my watch; it's already eleven, uh, which I'm pretty sure is getting late. Yeah, and then you gotta get up and everything. Hey, man, again, like like I say, man, we it's man, it's like dude, like every time we talk, it'll be whatever, because it's just like we'll, we'll we'll try to get this done, get this done more. That yeah. we got the technical stuff worked out. Um, and then like, uh, you know, I just want to have like, you know, a, cause it, it is a motorsport shop and then we, you know, we do motorsport stuff and kind of, you know, our interest to talk about that and, and weigh in on things. And maybe if I follow which more, I want to start following F1 more cause I, I watched the video on Netflix. I'm like, damn, this is a lot of drama, man, with the yeah. Red Bull guys. And then, then, uh, then it seems like, uh, Hamilton is just like went into the background and it's like, I'm gonna win all these championships and just kind of fade it, fade away. He's just like chill. He's like, whatever, dude, all you guys fight. And I'm just gonna keep winning because it seems like he just keep winning. I know he had some bouts with his uh, teammate and everything, which is normal yep. when a young gun comes in there and the old guys like, you know, it, it happens. So it seemed like the rib, I seen a rib bull thing. I'm like, man, these dudes are really battling. Then a guy goes to a new team and it's like so much drama and all of them get paid. Like I think it, they're all millionaires, so and like not it, ain't, for it ain't money, but it's like, but <laughs> right, it's not. But that's the cool thing about and that's kind of a great way to, to leave out of here with you, my myself. It's not, and, and people say, oh, when they when they say it's not about the money, and, and people who don't have it like say <laughs> bullshit. It when you get when you start making a certain amount of money and your you know your bills are paid. I mean, even though like I mean, I can definitely use more because again, I yeah. started a business from scratch. I'm still in the red zone, like about 50k in, in debt, and um, so I definitely can use the more. And that's why again, when that dude drops out, now I was yeah. talk, I was talking about you offline. When he drops out and that's 2,500 bucks or whatever was expected from the job, that shit really it, it, it's really meaningful. And I was banking on that, and so uh, yeah, I'm going to get. I'm not. 
I'm going to get angry at it because like your reasons for dropping out is a has nothing to do with me. And I'm like, I told him my email, my family does not affect my customers, which is right. why I'm here at four in the morning because I, I break out of here at 1600. I help my family. And then I, and then what I do is I make up that time at four in the morning, you know, cause I, I got, they need me and I'm not going to be that missing guy. And um, so I, I at 1645, I'm, I'm hitting out of here. I'm helping her. And I, sometimes I stay later, but again, your car still is done on time because I'm working on your car at four in the morning and then you pick up at 12. And but what I'm saying about the, when you hear the people say the money doesn't mean anything, it's like, yeah, those guys have millions, but they still have yep. that driving passion to go higher. And like, yeah, it's, it's great when you, when your bills are paid for, that's like one stressor gone. So it's like, what else next? And that what else next is what keeps us getting yeah. up every morning, getting out of bed and keeps us going. Yep. And so when you, so guys out there who don't have the money, when you get money, it's not going to make you feel fulfilled. It it's not going to. It's not going to make you. It doesn't change. It doesn't change anything. All of my yeah. bills are paid. It doesn't change. And with with the yeah. money you I still make, want. my bills are paid ten times over, and I have a four hundred thousand dollar house. My bills are paid ten times over, and I still worry about stuff. Stress. Your brain will come up with new things to stress about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. It's and that's that's the thing, man. Because I'm like, man, if I had this, I had that. No, actually, no. If I had more money, I would just have more car parts. No I would have more projects. Even and that's the thing. Even if the the projects, I'm saying, oh, if I had all this money, I'll finish our project. Actually, no, because what'll happen? I was like, oh, nice. There's a conquest. Let's support that over and put this in there. And then like, it's like my cappuccino one day is still like, hey, man, what the fuck? You gonna like, finish Ew. me or start me yet or whatever? <laughs> so it's like. You just keep, yeah. You just keep moving around. So actually, believe it or not, and I just it's something that just popped in my head. Like, yeah, I will be able to, um, I will be able to f- buy the parts and have them on there. But most of those cars out there, the parts are sitting inside right now. It's just that I gotta service customers. I gotta do this. I got, I gotta order things, and and everything can't be done. And it, so it's not gonna. People just believe that the money it's alone reality. is gonna solve problems. You know, you know like, it actually. I have so many friends that not friends. Let me let me clarify my terminology. Yeah acquaintances that they look at what I make right. a year. I don't tell them the exact number because it's none of their business, but they have an idea of what I make a year. Right. But they can yeah. see the, they can see like, the tangible man, items that you acquire. They're, yeah. they're, All yeah. this, the subwoofers and shit. <laughs> Leave me alone about yeah. my subwoofers. <laughs> they're, like, yeah. they're like, man, if I made what you make a year, dude, I would, I would have this yeah. car and it would have this and I would have that and I would do this. And I'm like, you don't understand. The second you buy a house, <laughs> your ideas of what you're going to drive and how you're going to modify it. Right. M- m- both my car, well, my Mercedes is not stock at all. It makes 500 horsepower, so it's not stock. But my uh, your cars, right? Be, you, when you so you're like, okay, I want to put this, this, and this into my car. Suddenly, your water heater goes out, <laughs> and you're yeah. like, how, how much is a water? Had it happen? Oh, six grand. Okay, cool. Yeah, and that's not covered. It's not covered under nope. the agreement of the You're contract. Like I, buy house $6, yeah. my, I bought this house within the first year. I had to replace. I had to replace the front door, put in a storm door, replace both sump pumps. Um, we had to pull the ceiling out of the guest bathroom because we had the the, the master bath was le- the master bath toilet was into the wow. downstairs bathroom. And then we had a clog in the shower where a plumber had to come in, rip the tile out, replace the piping, and ripping the tile out of a shower, 10 grand. I just, I'm just gonna say it, it's yeah. 10 grand. No matter what they're doing after yeah. they pull the tile out, when that tile comes, when they start pulling tile, the first tile piece that comes out, $10,000, dude. <laughs> yeah, and then not, not, not to like, you don't get into stuff like, you know, like, uh, in my even like uh, in this uh, podcast, dude, I've seen pictures. I got three three pink blinds. It was six hundred fifty bucks for those, man. Then you look at like I mean, just my podcast started out was yeah. what I had yeah, the gear yeah. already, the audio stuff because I do music. But then I was like, all right, I want to get these mics. I want to get these uh, lights. I want to get this thing. I got the carpet. I got the sound deading. So now, all of a sudden, now I'm this little studio. I mean, I mean, it's low level, but it was still about twenty five hundred oh, bucks to you know. To Think do that, that way yeah. To so it's to like you know, you getting your house. Think about every time your wife, yeah, like, turns up. You know, when when you first got your stove or at your shop, when you're like, I need to put lifts in here, or 
oh, I want to get a dyno. Right. I you know I personally right. well, says I wanted to buy a dyno for my gar- my personal garage, and then I was looking at price. <laughs> and I'm like, that's a six figure purchase. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and 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 that's why dinos cost me because you got to yes. they got to recoup that money. So it'll be it'll be a dino in the garage, and you and like one of the guys looking at it like, yeah, man. So let's spin her up or some shit. Like it's like he ain't making no making money up for that shit, man. But hey, man, oh, I, got, I got I really gotta get out of here, man. Cause I got it's, I got a meeting. I got a I got a I got a guy coming. Like again, we we supposed to close this hey, off five minutes ago. We start like talking that, man. again, man. But again, man. It, this would be a regular thing out there again for the guys out there watching. Um, again, me and David have been friends for 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 a shit man a long time, man, decades now, and uh, we met on the forums and, and stuff like that. So definitely, you know, foster those friendships and, and keep in contact with your people, even though even if, even if life gets busy and stuff like that. But also, again, uh, David, uh, just go ahead and uh, so your your plug your uh, <laughs> Instagram and all that stuff, and I'll put it I'll put it I'll put it on the uh, front half of the. Um, uh, well, actually, I'll put it in the, oh, the, you know, the comments. Um, so, so, of course, Drift Taxi is at the Drift Taxi on uh, it's at the underscore Drift underscore Taxi on Instagram, and then I'm at Drift Taxi Dave. If you want to follow me personally, and then there's all the Facebook stuff. So you can find me. Just look up, you know, D Adams Drift on Facebook, and you'll find me. Um, and that's really about it. I mean, I, I don't have a lot to plug because everything else I do, I'm very, I'm a very boring person outside of cars. Guns and theater. Yeah. I'm a boring person. Yeah. So what? What you guys don't know is they also have a uh, their own in theater <laughs> snack. That's like ball of shit, man. They got Charles and Chews and they got, got Swedish you, fish. I have all three types of shit. Of mambas. And I remember you asked. I Please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I got them together, and yeah. I, I just have to send those out to you. I'm gonna send those out to you yeah. probably in the next couple of weeks because I need to get those out of my theater because I'm just gonna yeah. eat them. Yeah, even it's if they're cool. expired, it's crazy. you know, I've eaten I've 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 expired okay, MREs same. before, believe it or not. I'm so. a Marine. I've eaten way out of MREs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, speaking on that, man, Marines out there, our fucking MREs and Air Force yeah, were not different. The they're the same shit. They they they're the same. They're from they're from Cleveland or I don't know <laughs> whatever. Just the package. The Marine the Marine ones are a little bit browner because yeah, they got to be different. But the the Air Force ones are like light brown or whatever. But yeah, same shit, man. But anyway, again, again out there, uh, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again to Dave for uh, giving yeah. me time out of his life on his podcast. And I'm very appreciative again of anybody who takes time out of their life to be on this thing right here, which again is still growing. Podcast number thirty five, and it's crazy. I mean, I was stuck at twenty one for a while, and, and then bam, it is <laughs> like so. Yeah, so it just you know it, it'll be going, man, and everything. So it'll be it'll be good. Uh, eventually, I want to get a. Try to get a three way on here. Oh, I want to get the three-way. Alan. Um, actually, just have you on as a a, a, a co host, and then get uh, another guest on to have. Like, you know, I got the. I don't know if you watched I'm, the one with Tokyo I, I last. I have my watch later. He, I, I just haven't watched it yet. I've yeah, been busy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we definitely spoke spoke highly of you, man. And I I just want to get even if you have him on your. I just I I just want to put you guys That'll together and just like watch. I think it'll be like, a great just, time, dude. It'll be. Yes, it'll be ridiculous, man. But and, and he's in Kansas. Now, how far is Kansas um, from Indianapolis? Three hours. Yeah. Oh well, three Kansas. Like, depending yeah, on which Kansas, Kansas City, Kansas Missouri, City? or Kansas City, Kansas. Yeah. Kansas. Okay, six yeah. hours. Kansas City, Kansas. Yeah. Hey, man, I, got, I got to go, man. I got a guy right coming in right now, man. But hey, hey, hey again, guys, yeah. thank you for tuning in. Podcastpinkstyle.com. Uh, check it out and everything. Thanks to Dave, and it'll be Donald signing off for Pinkle Style. See you guys later. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thanks, brother.